Postman, uh, starring Kevin Costner. Starring, written, produced, I think. I think it's adapted from a novel. Uh, but it's... A sweeping, a post-apocalyptic, epic drama uh, film. No, it's not. It's When they say sweeping epic, that just means it's long and boring as shit. Because that's exactly what this is. It is so long, it's like three hours of uh, basically Costner spouting out Shakespeare, uh, having some inner drama um you know it's about uh different factions that try and take power in a post-apocalyptic america uh and how you know costner masquerades as a postman uh and then starts him and another fella start like a start up the postal service again and it's like pony express it's all very it's very western so it's kind of, you know, lawless frontier, because we know that uh, Costner loves that kind of thing. But he also gets to be the hero, of course. It's 90%, 99% of the screen time in this. Uh, on his part, I would have to say it's pretty overacted. I mean, I don't not like Kevin Costner. I love Dances with Wolves. I think it was great. Uh, this, uh, however, is not Dances with Wolves. Uh, this is Dances with Myself, I believe, as Gene Siskel uh, described it. Yeah, it's all about him. He even gets a statue in the end. Uh, he's a huge hero, and, you know, oh, it's so tough being a hero. Uh, yeah, it's, you got a tough life there, Kevin. You know, we really feel for you. It's dumb. They, re they revive the, the Postal Service, and they bring hope to small towns that are besieged by bandits and... Um, you know, roving militia uh, headed by a dictator that uh, Kevin Costner's got to take out in the end. And you know, Waterworld for all the money that that movie lost, uh, that is better than this. Uh, and I don't like Waterworld, but I really didn't like this. Uh, I had s my wife had made me watch this like years ago. Uh, I think early two thousands. Uh, it's from nineteen ninety. 97 something like that um, but my wife had made me watch this back in the day and I remember even from then it was so boring and I don't know what I was thinking but I saw this at the thrift store in the VHS section and I was like oh my wife likes that movie maybe I'll, maybe I'll pick it up it's only a couple bucks right um so I picked it up and I brought it home. We watched it. And within 10 minutes, I remembered why I didn't like this movie. And I remembered that I actually, uh, I don't say I hated it, but because I know she likes this movie, I watched the entire thing through again. And after watching it again, you know, uh, 20 years later, I'm going to wait at least another 20 years before I watch this again. I'll watch it for her, but she's got to wait at least 20 years before I put this back in my VCR.